How's it going? So today we're going to be having a look at the new Sony Xperia Z3. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it new because uh, I think it came out at around September or October last year. But I'm only getting it now because I badly needed a new upgrade from this phone. Uh, it's Huawei, Hawaii, or I don't know, whatever name it is. Um, but yeah, it's been a long overdue wait for a new phone. Um, and this is probably the best phone that I could pick up right now. This is the copper version of the Xperia Z3 and it comes in black, white and mint green as well. Um, the mint green I think only came out this year. It used to be just black, white and the copper version. Um, but this is a really nice colour and it's a very unique colour and um, that's why I went with it anyway. Um, I went with this rather than going with something like the iPhone 5 or 5S or even iPhone 6. Um, those phones are just way too expensive and they don't offer as much as the Sony Xperia Z3 does. So inside the box straight away we get to see this beauty of a phone. Um, I'll just put this aside as you can see it's a nice color and I haven't even gone through the packaging yet it's a really really nice color and to be honest I don't think the camera does this phone any justice because it really looks nice in person um, that's just it there and there's some film over the well it's like a protector just over the phone I'll, I'll take that off in a minute and come back to the phone so if we have a look inside the box as you can see there's quite a good bit of accessories in here um, as you can see you get a power adapter this is obviously the Ireland and UK power adapter this is a nice uh, functionality here for the pop out it's really good it's handy as well um, you get a micro to regular USB adapter by the looks of it um, obviously a lot of manual guides that's quite a few nowadays most phones don't give you that many um, just behind here are the microphone and earphones uh, I don't know what model earphones these are um, but I'll have a look and put it in the video and it looks like you get some spare earbuds as well in case and a clip that's really handy um, I guess just in case the other ones are a bit uncomfortable and you get a micro USB cable as well to go with the power adapter as you can see um, to be honest the box was quite small I didn't expect all that to be inside it I was actually just expecting earphones and um, power adapter Oh, and let's not forget the two um, protectors that you get for the glass on both the front and the back of the phone. So, I'm just going to quickly run through some of the specs and we'll have a look at the phone as well. Um, I'm still saving this bit for last. I'll take it off just at the end. I'm not going to go too much into detail. I'll uh, attach a link to... Whoa, 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 nearly dropped the phone. So as you saw the phone nearly slipped out of my hands there. That's one thing about this phone. It's actually quite thin. It's thin enough anyway and it, when it, it fits nicely into my hands and um, the only thing is I think the rounded edges just kind of make it a little bit slippy. Uh, it's not that much of a big deal. I actually have heard people talk about this on videos as well. Um, but it's not a big deal. You just It makes you become extra cautious anyway. So starting with the display, you get a 5.2 inches tri-luminous display with X-Reality um, mobile picture engine. Two front facing speakers, one at the bottom and one at the top as well. And then on the top right of the phone, you get a front facing camera. It's a HD 1080p for video chat and it's also a 2.2 megapixel camera. Moving on to the right side of the phone, um, starting from the bottom up, there's a camera key that opens the camera display and then you have your volume up and down buttons and the power button as well with a nice silver touch to it. Now in this port here, 
is uh, where the nano sim goes in and your micro SD card for extended storage on the left hand side there's a port for USB which also comes with a cover as well for protection uh, from water and then there is a magnetic charging dock as well and a strap hole on the back of the phone you get a nice 20.7 megapixel camera with a pulsed LED uh, flash um, now to use the full 20.7 megapixels you're gonna have to change it to 20.7 on the manual mode because by default it's set to 8 megapixel um, on this phone in this area there is the NFC detection and the GPS antenna is just here as well and the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna is here uh, you get a nice Sony logo and Xperia logo just at the bottom and now finally the best moment ever taken off that horrible horrible classic oh my god it looks so good this is just gonna have fingerprints everywhere that looks absolutely amazing Let's just turn on the phone. Um, I'll have a link in the description uh, to get the specs about this phone. So there you go, there you have it. It's a Sony Xperia Z3 and this is the copper version.